The tragic news out of Nova Scotia has some parents on PEI talking about how to protect autistic children in case they go missing. Many precautions have already been taken, thanks in large part to one woman and her son. And Carrie Campbell has their story. For the parent of a child with autism, the scenes played out over the last few days in Cape Breton look all too familiar, seen in their darkest dreams and often in real life. I remember uh, I was away, I don't know where I was, but my husband woke up in the middle of the night and he wasn't here. Uh, looked all over, finally found him down in the end of our lane here. We used to have a little shelter for the kids to wait for the school bus, found him down there asleep. Autistic children are about as likely to wander as adults suffering from dementia. They're called runners. Alex Bain was a runner. Now he's a long distance runner, having recently carried the Olympic torch. He used to wear a medic alert bracelet as identification. Now he wears this. So his says, uh, Alex Bain, I'm autistic, atypical communication. If necessary, try written words instead of speech. And it has my cell phone number on it and our civic number on it. Alex is an intelligent and capable 22 year old, but like many with autism, he's never taken to conversation. That's just one of the things that can make searching for someone with autism especially difficult. Which is why the Bain family has been distributing these DVDs to emergency responders on PEI. They've also prepared communication aids which are carried by police, EMS and some firefighters. And in 2006, they brought an expert to the island to conduct training, all paid for with money the family raised when Alex ran from tip to tip. As I was about to interview Janet Norman Bain earlier today, I told her the news I had just received, that seven-year-old James DeLore had died. Her reaction was sympathetic, but muted. Later, she sent this email. I could have acknowledged the news of James' death or done that interview, but not both. She goes on, it's good that parents with autistic children on PEI will know search and rescue personnel have autism specific training, especially now. Carrie Campbell, CBC News, Charlottetown.